Hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? I have a samurai sword that my family's had for a long, long time. I really don't know much about it. Why is it made out of wood? Got me on that one. I mean, it wouldn't really do a lot of damage. Just giant toothpick. <laughs> I'm here today at the pawn shop to sell my sword. My grandfather brought the sword back from World War II, and it's been in the family ever since. I was looking to get $8,000 for the sword. If I walk out of the pawn shop today with $8,000, I will take my family on a vacation to a theme park in Florida. So it looks like you have a scabbard here, um, but not the sword. I mean, the handle looks pretty legit. Um, do you know much about it at all? No, it's just from my grandfather. He picked it up during the war, and I really don't know anything more than that. I deal with samurai swords all the time, but I've never really dealt with just a case and a handle for one. I mean, it definitely looks Japanese, but you know, one of the big problems with stuff like this is these things were passed down from generation to generation. It could be 500 years old, it could be 100 years old. I have no idea. They really do range from that kind of <laughs> you know, time period. I really don't understand why there's not a sword attached to it. I mean, it definitely looks like a mounting for a actual sword. I just want to know where the real sword's at. The handle looks like it's made of silk. The scabbard, I don't know what material it is that they used. I mean, it looks like wood, maybe. So we don't know how old it is. It looks like it could actually be something here. I just don't know exactly what it is. So what are you looking to do with it? To sell it. OK. Any idea of what you're looking to get? 8,000. Do you mind if I have a buddy come in and take a look at it? No, I welcome you. Great. OK, hang out. I'll be right back. I'm totally fine with someone coming in today to look at the sword. I, I really would like to have more information about where it came from, how old it is, and what its value is. Hey, Mike, what's going on, man? Hey, what's up, Corey? How you been? Doing good. Oh, what you got today? A uh, weird one. It's what appears to be an old uh, scabbard. OK. Well, actually, this is common, believe it or not, in Japan. After World War II, the occupation, MacArthur ordered all the swords to get collected. So that means all the blades were turned in. But the mountings were OK to keep, because these were not against law. They're not a weapon. OK. And this is quite old, actually. How do we know how old it is? Well, this style of mount is made in southern Japan. And this is known as a Higo mount, which is from the area of Kumamoto, modern day Japan. And they were very particular to make this style of gold inlay work. Judging from the style, we can pretty much determine that this whole package was from the early 1800s. Oh, wow. So what else can you tell me about it? Interesting. This is very interesting. Maybe you get lucky. It's a hidden coin pocket. No way. These are very rare to find intact. Now, I, I, I am a little bit of an expert. Those aren't gold. No, no, <laughs> these are definitely not gold. Unfortunately, somebody put some reproductions in here and okay. obviously kept the real gold. So why would they hide it inside their sword like that? you would be afraid to get robbed. So this was the best place to actually hide your money, in that sense. Gotcha. A little holder like this could hold up to $10,000 worth of coins. OK, um, well, too bad we didn't get that lucky, right? But because of the rarity of this, this makes this set very highly collectible. OK. How collectible? Well, I mean, in excellent condition like this, especially with the addition of the hidden coin pocket, now you're talking something very, very rare and special. So well, this thing would be worth an easy $8,000. All right, well, appreciate it, Mike. All right, take care. Thank you. See you later. Well, I mean, you kind of hit the nail on the head of, of what it was worth. Um, that being said, I've got to make some money. Um, I'd like to give you four. Could you come up a little bit more than four? Can you go down from eight? Six and a half. I'll tell you what, I'll do five. Five seems fair. All right, deal. Thank you. Meet me over there. Let's do some paperwork. Okay. I am thrilled to make a deal today for $5,000. It wasn't quite the 8000 I was asking for, but I will certainly be able to take my family on a nice vacation. 